So what I've done is I have installed it so that um, it will gimbal. And uh, I don't like it being that close to the electrics, that's really horrible. And I've also made up this, which is a kind of splashback thing. Took a leaf out of the IKEA book of um, simple assemblies. So that kind of provides an area to stop the food from disappearing. I'll go and get the other piece of wood and put it in and then I'll show you with the gimbal down. Now this is a meth stove, so let me just bring them closer. Apparently this will take a quart. Probably about a pint I've poured in there. There's a, when you turn this knob, there's a little plate that opens and closes, there you go, that opens and closes across that next burner. So, what you have to do is to get a flame down here. Now, nobody told me that. I've got lighters. I'm told what you have to do if you haven't got one of those long lighters is to use a match. This is where I immolate the boat and myself. There we go. And we have liftoff. That is the light. Okay. So this is purely for experimental purposes. Here's a kettle, here's a pint of water. Apparently this should get up to speed, but it, realistically you would put the kettle on straight away. So, um... Okay. Uh, meantime, while that's thinking about it, I will uh, look at other things that need to be put away. It's just started to boil. There was a pint of water in there and that was seven minutes. It's like when you move into a house. First thing you do is to make a cup of tea and essentially that's what I've done here. And uh, that's great. You do have some control apparently. You can slow this down. Let's see if I can make this. Oh. Wow, that's pretty impressive. It really turned down fast. That was good. That's pretty controllable. So the first bit of uh, my clutter arrives. There's, it's blowing quite hard today, it's quite windy today. I don't think this is going to get disturbed by the wind and really I'm not going to use the gimbals that often.